Who said you can't eat ice cream for breakfast, Todd? Awesome. Well, tomorrow you can because it's National Eat Ice Cream for Breakfast Day. Kylie from Kylie's Kitchen is sharing how to make fried ice cream with Hudsonville's limited edition cinnamon French toast ice cream. Take a look. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to share this fried ice cream recipe using Hudsonville's limited edition flavor, cinnamon French toast. It's the perfect way to celebrate Eat Ice Cream for Breakfast Day on February 6th. Now the secret to this recipe is that it actually isn't fried. What we're going to do is make a crispy coating so it looks and tastes like it's fried without worrying about sticking ice cream in a deep fryer. So I have four cups of cornflake cereal in this bag and I'm just going to crush them into tiny crumbs. I tested a wide range of cereals for this recipe and they actually all worked really well. So just use your favorite thin and crispy variety. Once you have the crumbs, we're just going to dump the cereal in a bowl with melted butter, cinnamon, and sugar. And then we just mix it all up. Then once it's mixed up, we're going to spread it on a baking sheet and bake it at 350 for about 10 minutes or until it's golden brown. And then this is what it will look like when it's finished. So now it's time for the best part, and that's the ice cream, of course. I already portioned the ice cream into six servings, about four ounces each, and they've been hardening in the freezer for the last half hour. So all I'm going to do is take each of these scoops and coat them in this crumb, crispy crumb coating here. Now it's very important to use a high quality ice cream for this recipe. And that's because a high quality ice cream has a better consistency that will hold its shape longer. And that's why I only use Hudsonville ice cream. The flavor profile of this cinnamon French toast ice cream is really just perfect for this recipe. And also their other limited edition flavor, malted milk ball, is another really great option. So once you've finished coating all of your ice cream balls in this crumb topping, it is time to serve it. But before I serve it, what I like to do is I like to add a little drizzle of honey. Oh, that's so nice. Some whipped cream. And then a cherry on top. Now, don't wait to try these two limited edition flavors because they're only in stores for a short time. And they're so good. They actually happen to be my two new favorite flavors. You can visit HudsonvilleIceCream.com and use their scoop locator tool to find the flavors at a grocery store near you. And you can check out this recipe on my blog, Kylie'sKitchenBlog.com. Thanks again for having me. Breakfast is served. <laughs> Enjoy your breakfast tomorrow, Ted. I'm bowling a spoon. I'm already halfway there. Ah, oh, sounds delicious.